What if all animals disappeared from Earth, you wake up tomorrow, and every animal on Earth is gone? No dogs wagging their tails, no birds singing at dawn, no fish shimmering in the oceans. Mammals, birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, all erased in an instant. What happens next? This isn't just a story of crumbling ecosystems, it's a human tragedy, a cultural unraveling, and a race against time to survive. Let's journey through the aftermath, step by step, and uncover the profound ways animals shape our world. From our food to our faiths, our mental health to our future, their absence would change everything, the immediate shock. Day 1 to week 1, the first day is surreal. You step outside, and across the world feels wrong. No squirrels dart lawns, no seagulls squawk overhead. Pets, dogs, cats, hamsters, parrots have vanished, leaving 1.5 billion pet owners worldwide grappling with grief. The pet industry, a $200 billion global giant, collapses overnight. Pet stores shutter, groomers and trainers lose their livelihoods, and veterinary clinics stand empty, agriculture takes an immediate hit. Farms are eerily quiet, no cows mooing, no chickens clucking. The meat and dairy industries, worth trillions, grind to a halt. Fisheries, which employ 59 million people globally, face ruin as oceans yield nothing. Grocery stores ration canned and frozen goods, but fresh meat. Eggs and milk are gone. Prices skyrocket, and panic buying begins, religions tied to animals face a spiritual crisis. In Hinduism, cows are sacred, their absence disrupts rituals and challenges beliefs. Not all Hindus interpret this in the same way. Beliefs and practices vary widely across regions and communities. However, respect for cows is a strong cultural norm in much of India. Indigenous cultures, whose totems and stories revolve around wolves, eagles, or bears, lose a core piece of their identity. Even Christianity, with its doves and lambs as symbols of peace, feels the void. Communities gather to pray, but the sudden absence of animals shakes their spiritual foundations, leaving millions questioning their place in a world without life. Conservationists, zookeepers, and wildlife biologists lose their purpose. Zoos and aquariums, once bustling with families, become ghost towns. The $20 billion wildlife tourism industry, think safaris, whale watching, evaporates. Jobs vanish, and economies in animal-dependent regions, like East Africa or coastal Australia. Teeter on collapse. The cultural trauma is immediate. Animals aren't just resources, they're companions, muses, and symbols. Pets provide unconditional love, their absence leaves a hole in millions of homes. Children grow up without animal stories, no Winnie the Pooh, no Lion King. The psychological weight of this loss ripples through society, as humans confront a world that feels sterile and lonely. Ecosystem collapse, one month to one year. By one month, nature begins to unravel. Animals are the glue of ecosystems, and without them, the cracks widen. Pollinators like bees, butterflies, and bats are gone, halting reproduction for 75% of global crops. Think apples, almonds, coffee, avocados. The FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, estimates 35% of food production depends on pollinators. Without them, fields turn to wastelands. Farmers abandon orchards, and global trade in fruits and vegetables collapses. Herbivores like deer or elephants no longer graze, so grasslands become tangled thickets, increasing wildfire risks. In Africa, savannas without grazers turn to scrublands. Predators like wolves or lions no longer control prey, so pest populations, rodents, invasive plants, explode, further destabilizing ecosystems. Soil health plummets. Worms, moles, and other burrowing animals aerate soil keeping it fertile. Without them, it compacts and erodes, choking plant roots. Decomposers like vultures, crabs, and beetles recycle nutrients, their absence leaves carcasses to rot, spreading disease and starving soils. In oceans, zooplankton and fish regulate algae and carbon cycles. 
Without them, algal blooms suffocate marine life, and carbon sequestration slows, accelerating climate change. Humans feel the pinch. Food shortages spark riots in cities. Synthetic foods, soy, grains, become staples, but they can't replace the nutritional diversity of animal-based diets. Malnutrition rises, especially in poorer nations reliant on fish or livestock. The global economy, already reeling from collapsed industries, faces a new threat, hunger on an unprecedented scale. The psychological toll deepens. Therapy animals, dogs, horses, even dolphins, play a vital role in mental health, reducing stress and aiding conditions like PTSD or autism. Studies show pet ownership lowers cortisol and boosts oxytocin, without pets, anxiety and depression surge. Social isolation grows as dog parks and pet communities vanish. Humans, already disconnected in a digital age, feel profoundly alone. The long decline. 10 years and beyond. 10 years later, Earth is a shadow of itself. Most plants have died without pollination or seed dispersal. Forests shrink as trees fail to regenerate, birds and mammals once carried seeds across continents. Grasslands turn to deserts, and wetlands dry up without beavers or amphibians to maintain them. The carbon cycle, disrupted by collapsing oceans and soils, drives temperatures higher. Climate change, already a crisis, becomes unstoppable. Nutrient cycles grind to a halt. Without decomposers, organic matter piles up, clogging ecosystems. Soils turn sterile, unable to support crops or wild plants. Oceans, once teeming, are dominated by jellyfish and algae, as fish and marine mammals no longer balance the food web. The planet's biodiversity, already fragile, enters an extinction spiral. Humanity survives, barely, on artificial systems. Lab-grown meat and algae-based proteins feed a dwindling population, but these require massive energy and infrastructure. Nutritional deficiencies are rampant, as synthetic diets lack the complexity of animal-derived foods. Economies have shifted to tech and survival industries, but wealth gaps widen, only the rich can afford high-quality synthetics. Culturally, the loss is incalculable. Art, literature, and film lose their animal muses, no more paintings of horses, no stories of brave lions. Children grow up in a world where animal is a history lesson, seen only in VR simulations. Zoos, once centers of wonder, are museums of taxidermy. The human spirit, once lifted by nature's beauty, feels caged in a lifeless world. Psychologically, the toll is devastating. Conservationists and animal lovers, once driven by hope, face existential despair. Studies link nature exposure to mental well-being. Without animals, humans lose a key source of awe and connection. Suicide rates climb, and communities fracture under the weight of collective grief. What if insects and microbes remain? Now, let's explore a twist. What if animals only means multicellular vertebrates and invertebrates like jellyfish or corals, but insects and microbes survive? This changes the outlook dramatically. Insects, bees, beetles, ants, are ecosystem powerhouses. Bees pollinate crops, ensuring some food production. Beetles and flies decompose waste, keeping nutrient cycles alive. Ants aerate soil, supporting plant growth. With insects, agriculture could limp along. Crops like wheat, rice, and corn, which rely on wind or insect pollination, survive, though yields are lower without birds or bats controlling pests. Food systems stabilize, but meat, dairy, and fish are gone. Diets become monotonous, and malnutrition persists in regions dependent on animal protein. Insects could become a food source, as they are in some cultures today. Cricket farming, already a $1 billion industry, could scale up, providing protein. But culturally, insects can't replace the emotional bond of a dog or the majesty of a whale. Mosquitoes and pests, unchecked by predators, become a nuisance, spreading disease in some areas. Microbes, bacteria, fungi, maintain soil health and water cycles. They decompose organic matter, recycle nutrients, and support plant life. But without vertebrates, 
ecosystems are incomplete. No mammals or birds means limited seed dispersal, stunting forests. Oceans, without fish, struggle to balance algae and carbon. Earth functions, but it's a diminished, less vibrant planet. Culturally and psychologically, the loss of vertebrates still stings. Religions adapt, perhaps venerating insects, but the spiritual void of sacred animals persists. Pets are gone, and therapy animals are irreplaceable. Humans survive, but the world feels alien, dominated by buzzing swarms rather than the creatures we loved. Could we replace animals? Can technology fill the void? Let's explore artificial replacements. Lab-grown meat, cultured from cells, is already here. Companies like Beyond Meat and Upside Foods lead the way. But scaling to feed 8 billion people is a logistical nightmare. It requires vast energy, sterile facilities, and rare nutrients, making it a luxury for the wealthy. Algae and yeast-based proteins are cheaper but lack the taste and nutrition of animal foods. AI and robotics could mimic some animal roles. Drones for pollination exist, like those tested in Japan, but they're energy-intensive and cover only small areas. Nature's pollinators work for free, drones cost millions and fail in harsh conditions. Robotic grazers or soil aerators are theoretically possible, but decades away from practical use. Companionship is harder to replace. Robotic pets, like Sony's Ibo, offer programmed affection, but they lack the unpredictable warmth of a living animal. VR simulations of wildlife, virtual safaris or pet apps, provide escapism, but they can't replicate the tactile joy of stroking fur or hearing a purr. Studies show real pets boost mental health in ways tech can't match. Synthetic biology offers the most promise. Engineered microbes could recycle nutrients or aerate soil, mimicking worms or bacteria. Scientists could design organisms to disperse seeds or control pests, but these are speculative and risky, introducing new species could disrupt ecosystems further. The cost, both financial and ecological, would be immense, and no tech can restore the cultural or spiritual roles of animals. Even if we replace animals' functions, we can't replace their meaning. Animals inspire art, folklore, and dreams. They teach us empathy and connect us to the wild. A world of drones and bioreactors might keep us alive, but it won't feel like home. If all animals vanished, Earth wouldn't just lose its ecosystems, it would lose its heartbeat. From the food on our plates to the faiths in our hearts, from the jobs we do to the stories we tell, animals are woven into every facet of our lives. This thought experiment reveals how fragile our world is, and how deeply we depend on the creatures we often take for granted. But this future isn't inevitable. Today, we can protect wildlife, support conservation, reduce waste, and advocate for biodiversity. Every action counts. Animals aren't just part of nature, they're part of us. Share to let more people know about this and take action. You can also subscribe for more deep dives into the world's biggest questions. Let's keep Earth alive, together. All the best!